A fade to black, interesting. So far, all of the fades have been to white. In terms of artistic direction, there is a very drastic difference between those. It's really interesting to try to compare this game to Flower and like the progression of the stage design is actually kind of similar. So I wonder what is coming because compared to Flower, we are now like in stage four out of six. We have limited fight ability, I don't, although I don't know if that's on me. Yeah, I guess that was on me. And about to be solved anyways, not really worth pointing out. Where are we even? I guess maybe in that castle that uh, the white mama showed us. Castle may be a bit pretentious, it's just structure. Whoop! I see a thing. Okay, so let's get this. There we go. Scarf get. Why is there a trace of there being a thing? That is so confusing. It's okay though. Why would you leave a trace of the collectible? I mean, if you're going to leave a trace of the collectible so that you can know like, oh, there was a thing here and you already got it, at least don't make it shiny. <laughs> That seems like a very weird design decision. Oh wow. Can we interact with these? We can. Like, what, what do you think these are? Because from my... From my metaphorical understanding, right? These are probably supposed to have been people. People in the same sense of us, at least. And... Come on. Let me, let me go in there. So it's like, maybe the longer the scarf, the more people passed away here. When we have scraps, maybe the scraps, the collection of scraps are just one person. And this is more an actual city, an actual community. It's now just us. Whatever it was that was great before, now is only ruins and scraps of cloth.
I was expecting this game to be lighthearted. I was not super in the mood for this, but that's okay. I'm in it now. You know how I know that I'm not prepared for this. I just really want to see what's in the darkness. Climb to the top. This is, if I am correcting my reading, this is incredibly dark imagery because we're literally rising on the corpses of our comrades. Like, this is surprisingly bleak. Let's see. Oh, I have a thing. Come on, go up. There we go. I don't understand the metric for how much of the scarf we use up with each jump. Sometimes I press it for a really long time and it doesn't seem to drain at all. I mean, aside from when I am surrounded by, by cloth. But sometimes I tap it very lightly and half of it drains. Seems arbitrary. I really... I really hope this doesn't boil down to a message of technology bad. Which... In current times, I'm even inclined to somewhat agree. Whoa, fuck. What the shit? What even was this? Okay. Let's be very careful progressing then. Yeah, if, if this whole thing was just to set up a, a, a message of technology bad, I, I, as much as I agree, I would be disappointed. Because this game seems like it could have a, a, a better meaning than that. Let's try and not be seen by that. His movement is very limited. Whoa. Yeah, so that's bad. So it is, uh, we were wiped out by technology thing, huh? Like we, we made our own enemies or something. I mean, I'm not entirely sure on the we made it aspect of it. But that was very clearly establishing an antagonist. But <laughs> can I die? Yo, what's up? Here. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. God damn it! Come on. Don't ignore me. 
Yeah, damn it. I'm very purposefully going to throw myself in the light of one of those things at some point. I also haven't saved, like, at all. I wonder if there is a, a need to be saving. Whoa. Um, sweet death. What's up? So, okay. If you put a thing that should kill you in the game, like, narratively speaking, if you put a threat, and this is a threat, in your game, and the player is, like, actively trying to engage with it, and they can't, Okay, there we go. So, what did that amount to? I think it took some of my scarf away. Maybe. It looks shorter. And if that's the penalty, that's actually a pretty freaking good penalty. I retract everything. <laughs> I'm curious about that. I wasn't expecting to take Scarf away. Because Scarf is not health. There is no health, as far as I understand. Scarf is just like mobility. So that seems like a really big penalty. Let's try it again. Yo, what's up? Yes, it takes Scarf away. Wow. So I guess that's the thing. I guess Scarf is life. They have been collecting life all this time. And now I transform this into a challenge run. <laughs> that's fair enough. So what I was about to say actually, before I started getting wrecked, was that if you put an antagonist in your game, you should be able to actually interact with it. That only makes sense. A lot of indie games, because this is a problem with indie games, there are like narrative focus, quote unquote, and they forget that you're also supposed to be games. They will put a thing that's just like, oh yeah, this is an antagonist, you should totally fear this thing. But they don't actually do anything in the in the game or in the plot or I mean, they're doing the plot, just not in the game. And that's just very anticlimactic for the gameplay. Because you're not really giving a gameplay reason to fear, to fear that thing. So it's just like, if the thing is just there and I was trying to actively engage with it, and it keeps dodging me, then it's no longer a threat. Now that I have <laughs> established to my satisfaction, that the thing can actually... I'm not sure if it can kill me, but it can... take away the only thing I have been collecting the entire game. Now, when I see that thing, I really want to... like, dodge it as... as much as I possibly can. What's up? There we go. And this is... whoa! No, go away, go away! Ugh. Ooh! Also, this is like a barrier for it. Nice. See, that was only tense because I knew there was an actual risk of being punished for failing. Not that the punishment needed to be that severe, but, <laughs> you know. Good game design in this game. Well done.
let's see if I can get my scarf back at some point. <laughs> uh. Another fate to black. This seems like a place that will have some power ups. Okay, let's go to the light. Not before checking our immediate surroundings. I don't have any any jump, so I can't really do anything. This is just a mural, right? Mural? Mural. Now I can just fly freely in this area. Oh, we have scarf over there. Ah, uh, I, I see. Okay. Yeah, boosty. This could probably be very hard with the amount of scarf that I lost that thing. Huh. I wonder if I completely screwed myself. I wonder if it's possible to do that in this game. Because I would respect that. I would respect that a lot. But of course I would also <laughs> just restart the game. Because respect is awesome, but sometimes not nearly enough. Oh, I just did it in the wrong direction, fair enough. Maybe if I had the original amount of scarf, I would have been able to just jump all the way through it. But they managed to correctly account for the fact that a player would be stupid and get into the way of the clearly evil and destroying thing. Good game design in this game. Is that the first one? Is everything rising? Huh. Beautiful music in this swing. It is interesting how the the instrumentation is very western, but the harmony is actually pretty eastern. At least as far as I can tell. Maybe I'm wrong, but oh, we have a thing over there. Nice. Gotta get that.
Yeah, like this, this is a very Eastern sounding melody. The percussion is also very stereotypically Chinese, which is funny because this is a Japanese game. Those two, those two cultures don't get along as well as you may imagine. But yeah. Like whenever I, you have a distinctly, I guess it is one of the things that always attracted me in a cultural sense about Dynasty Warriors is just Japanese people doing media about Chinese history. I always thought that was kind of bizarre. I guess it's just because ancient Chinese history is just so freaking interesting. <laughs> What is that? Let's see where this thing takes us. Oh, we have a thing over there. Can I get that really quickly and then pop back on the right? Hopefully. What's up with this? Oof. Maybe the purpose of this was just to let me grab that thing. Maybe not. Yeah, no, definitely not. Almost fell there. Wow, this looks familiar. Is this is this game going to turn out to be Hegelian in nature? The second most Hegelian game to ever be made. The first one is Dragon's Dogma, by the way. I wasn't expecting a Hegelian game, but I'm down for it. If that's what's going on, that's that's positive as far as I'm concerned. Give me that sweet, sweet Hegel. Have you ceased to be useful, apparently? I can just swim up, right? Yes. Let's see. Trying to keep an eye for scarf pieces. Since I was an idiot and went ahead and got myself wrecked. But it was for science, I stand by that. It was a dumb thing, but I stand by it. Yep, give me boosties. Yes, this is these mirrors are pretty much 100% what we have already done.
and before we retalk to Memo White. Start calling her Skylar. Oh, I missed the thing, like I missed the cipher. If that's what that means, like the third bit is blacked out. No, nothing? What's up? Uh, I wasn't in the correct pixel, I'm sorry. Let's go then. The implication here is that we are... We have been prophesized, apparently. Or is Skylar just showing us the meaning of what we've been doing? Who knows? It seems like our journey is at an end. Let's go forward. <laughs> 